Hello everybody, today I'm back with a tutorial for uh, hydro dipping uh, Tyrannus shell or any other radio. Uh, this tutorial has actually been made possible by MyDipKitStore.com. Uh, they provided two kits, uh, one of them being the Red Cobra and the other's uh, Skull. Um, and I'll go ahead and show you what actually comes in the kit with this is, uh, as you can see, the set of gloves, a scuff pad, the actual uh, respirator mask, um, and then you got two cans of uh, tan, one can of activator, and one of edge primer. Um, the instructions for the actual process are rolled around the roll. Um, on that paper, you can see that the actual roll comes in. Um, and then you also get the sticker, mydipkitstore.com. Um, the only thing that I've done to actually start doing this has been prepping the shell, which all it is is essentially just a light sanding. I um, mean, you can see I have the 2000 grit wet and dry sandpaper right to the uh, on the right hand side. Um, but this will show you essentially if you've never done it, um, if maybe you already have some experience painting or whatever, you can use it on essentially any plastic, pretty much any metal. Um, on woods, I believe it's only for hardwood, so you can't do MDF, you can't do stuff like that that's going to absorb the water and actually uh, expand and deteriorate. So I'll go ahead and uh, start uh, showing you guys the process and uh, get right to it, show you the entire process to the finished product. For this next process, we're going to be laying down the first uh, light coat. Um, so you grab one of the 10 uh, cans from the kit. Um, and you go ahead and grab your shell. Like I said, the only thing that I've done to prep it has been use that 2000 grit to just uh, scuff the outside of it. Um, and as for painting, you just want to do a couple light coats. You don't need complete coverage the first time. This is just the first coat that you're actually going to do on it. Um, so go ahead, spray it down. Uh, it, you just want this kind of sandy uh, finish on the top. You don't, like I said, you don't want to completely solid. All you're trying to do is just kind of cover the plastic for the initial. A coat the second coat is going to be the actual one that you uh, go ahead and do a light scuff again and then that's the one you try to get the most coverage on set uh, same thing just without trying to get it to bleed Once that's done, go ahead and set it aside, let it dry for one to two hours, and we'll move on to the next step. Now that we got that coat done, um, I'll go ahead and show you what you actually want. So, you, like I said before, you want this kind of sandy finish. You don't want total coverage the first time. You can still see some of the exposed, like the plastic under it, um, where the paint was actually scuffed off. Um, you just want a very light coat for the first one then you're going to go ahead and, and uh, use a scuff pad uh, get it cleaned up and then do the next solid coat um, but yeah this is this is the perfect coat that you actually want for your first one so i'll go ahead and go on to the next step now using the scuff pad that came with the kit you want to go ahead and lightly scuff the entire case there are going to be some spots you can't reach and try your best but it doesn't really matter the the dip will still get in there once a second coat's on there so go ahead and start that scuffing As soon as you're done scuffing, go ahead, blow it off, get rid of all the dust, and you're ready for the next step. Okay, now we can start the full top coat. Once again, you're going to be using the same tan uh, can that came with the kit. And this time you want as even a coat as possible. Um, go ahead and do same thing, light coats. I tend to do left to right, and then I lean the bottom up and do top to down uh, just to make sure you don't get bleeding when you do every single thing in the same direction you tend to get spots uh, bleeding pretty much on anything I mean I built arcades and I built jukeboxes so you kind of get used to it 
um, but go ahead and do as solid a coat as possible and you'll see uh, what the result is what you want to have as close to Once you're done with that top solid coat, you'll see the coverage you want to get. There are, there will be some spots that you can see a tiny bit of black um, or gray, whatever color was under if you didn't scuff it enough. That's not a problem. You're ready for the next step. Now that you got it done, uh, we're going to go ahead and start getting your stuff ready. Um, the shell itself is still going to need one more light scuffing uh, just to get rid of imperfections. Uh, pieces of garbage that might have been stuck from the paint can or whatever um, very light scuffing you just want to get rid of all that little like I said that little kind of gunk um, and start getting your stuff ready for the container I'm using uh, one that I actually just picked up today from a thrift store for like 50 cents uh, the brand is iris I believe it's sold by most like hobby stores um, and it's a 15 by 20 by 8 um, you need to make sure it's plenty deep just so when you dip down um, you don't hit the bottom go ahead and set aside your activator your mask and your gloves and move on to the next step this next step you're gonna want to go ahead and get your actual film ready um, when you get your film on the roll and you, there's a little piece of yellow tape make sure the side that you put up there's a tag that says this side up um, you see it in the camera uh, that's the side and you can note you tell the difference the part that goes in the water is glossy the part that goes up is like a dull mat um, that's where you're actually going to set your tape to be able to lay it into your tub so go ahead and unroll it um, if it curled it's just moisture you don't got to worry about it you just kind of move it to the side go ahead and tape it out anyways um, as far as the tape goes that i'm actually going to be using is uh, frog tape you can use any painter's tape whatever you want doesn't really matter um, make sure that where you actually cut the film you still have i i did extra um you only need maybe about an inch and a half to two inches um from the ends of each controller of each corner um i did a little bit extra just to show you guys i mean you might lose a little bit of film but you got to keep in mind too that when you actually put it in the tub it still expands so even at an inch and a half you'll still get enough to cover the entire controller so you don't waste as much film um, just tape off all four edges and then you go ahead and cut it. Now that you have the square taped off of what you're actually going to use for the film, go ahead and cut it, get ready for the next step. Now that you have the film cut, I usually leave the shell in the middle just to make sure that it actually fits or what way I'm going to go ahead and dip it depending on the container you're going to be using. Um, so you can set it aside and uh, I pick up every little thing just because I've had pieces of tape kind of stick to the film or you don't realize it until after you lay it down. Go ahead and get that ready and move on. Now, once you have your film uh, prepped, what you're going to want to do is actually cut slits. I do one on each corner and maybe one or two uh, in the sides. Um, the reason you want to do this is because when you, as soon as you spray the activator, the film is going to start to expand. If you leave it inside the tape and it doesn't expand, it's going to cause bubbles and just cause issues. Um, so you go ahead and cut, not just to the edge of the tape, cut a little bit into the actual film itself. Um, 
it's tough you're not don't worry about it uh completely tearing apart just be careful when you actually lift it so go ahead and cut slits into it and then you can go ahead and actually set that aside and uh, get the tub ready to actually be dipped all right now that all that's done go ahead and get your tub and you want uh just lukewarm water nothing that's gonna burn you just something that i mean a little bit warm take your film depending on what container you're using take the film uh go ahead and overlay it over the water don't put it in yet if it's too uh, small the graphic you're using it doesn't fit in the tub you can go ahead and actually mask off areas of it using the same tape just tape it to the sides uh, it'll hang over the top of the water just so that the graphics don't completely come out of the side um, so go ahead and do that if you need to if not you can go ahead and just forward to the next step All right, now for the best part, the part that everybody's been waiting for to actually dip it. When you dip it in, make sure you put the sling, uh, the actual skin, sort of in a sling you want to U-shaped. Um, just because when you drop it in, you don't want any bubbles to get stuck under. They will pop and ruin the skin when you actually dip it. Um, if flaps actually flap over, you go ahead and just do it with your finger, flip them over. It's not a big deal. Um, I wound up kind of removing the tape because I actually had a little bit too much film. I just removed it off of one side um, to allow it to do it. Um, go ahead, set your timer for 60 seconds or counting your head or whatever you need to do. Um, wait, and then you go ahead and move on to the next step. All right, once your 60 seconds are up, go ahead and grab your glove. You only need one. Uh, put it on, get your activator ready and everything um, to do the spray of it, let it expand, and then we'll get on the dip. Make sure you wear your mask. The paint's not that bad, but the activator really smells. You don't wanna be inhaling that stuff. Go ahead and shake it up a bit, get it ready. And you wanna do maybe three sprays for a Tyrannus. You could probably do maybe four. Um, I did a few extra just because the tub's kind of big and most of the stuff was coming out of the side and you'll see how it transitions from that like matte color to that gloss. Um, that should activate. Go ahead and wait maybe 15-20 seconds. I waited about 20 seconds um, and you'll see that the ink actually starts to change. Um, go ahead and kind of gauge how you're going to dip it. if you have a squared shaped tub go ahead and just dip it and it's going to be the same thing anyway um the big thing you have to pay attention to is with this shell is how you dip it because the recesses on it if you don't dip it right you won't get ink in it the ink will wrap around other parts before you do it so you if you can see go ahead and lay it in 40 degrees just start slowly dipping it in you don't want to shove it in there it'll just splash everywhere and ruin the whole thing um slowly do it you'll see that the water's plenty enough to go ahead and actually dip it all the way in it won't touch the bottom then once you actually get past the film just shake it so you make sure there's no ink around it when you actually pull it up that's going to get stuck to it and ruin it give it that quick quick shake and here you'll see i'm going to turn around for you guys final product after that all you got to do is give it a cold rinse do not spray it just rinse it for maybe two to three minutes and then Toss that top coat of gloss and you're good to go. So you follow on the instructions. 
you should end up with a flawless paint job. You can go ahead and pick from a bunch of other uh, graphics from mydipkitstore.com. There you go. From a dull stock transmitter, fully blinged out, ready to fly. Thanks for watching. Enjoy.